This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. May Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Recha Kodash, Barak Dum, Tisa Kwanium, Baakim Wakwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole for the elect. Out there laboring, keeping a commandment to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, and our King Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Bon Yashallah. And this be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on understanding deep parables and dark sayings and how it's a heavenly gift. All right, let's get a quick precept I just thought about. In the book, uh, I think it's Philippians. Let me see. It's Philippians three and fourteen. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shad. So us waking back up in these last days, all right, to who we are, our God-given nationality, and not only that, but also understanding the Holy Scriptures, being able to teach others as well. You know the correct um, understanding of the Bible. All right, the dark sayings, the deep parables in the scriptures. And what inspired this lesson was, you know, you, you sometimes you may have videos that go through the algorithm, right? Get more views and other things of that nature. You have uh, new subscribers, new commenters, you know, people coming in, new asking certain questions, things of that nature, and don't fully understand, all right, the scriptures or don't understand it at all, all right? And it makes you, you know, realize and recognize the blessing, you know, that we that been bestowed upon us. All right, oh, to understand these scriptures, man. Okay, understand spiritual power, understand the book of Genesis, the book of Revelation, the Daniels, you know what I'm saying, the, the Isaiahs and Ezekiel's and Jeremiah's. And there's so, there's so many, you know, the uh, I think I said already said Ezekiel's, but so many, you know, uh, scriptures, you know, uh, that we understand because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, loosed the seals. All right, because Yahweh Shai sacrificed, that's what allowed us to be able to get this knowledge all right get this and this is this this knowledge is a a, a stepping stool to, to salvation you got to know this first i'm gonna get to some precepts there's so many coming to my mind right but this is a high calling the great awakening is happening as we speak okay and we have uh a lot of people that shut out of this thing that just won't get it at all no matter how much you break it down to them how many scriptures you bring out and make it easy for them to understand to them it's just like a, it's a seal so I'm gonna get those precepts now, and it's been not too long. You know, it's meditating upon the heavenly gift of this high calling and, and understanding dark parables and and, and and dark sayings, you know? Isaiah 6 and verse 9, and it reads, And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed. So he's this is for the prophet Isaiah, but also on down to all the prophets, the, the watchmen, the men of the most high, going out to the houses and the bowers, compelling them to come in, that, that the most high's house may be filled, man. All right, bidding them to what the marriage of the lamb. And the only ones are gonna get married to the lamb, the lamb's wife that's making herself ready is the elect. So it's only for uh, the elect in the Greek is eklektos, which means to be chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. So this is a high calling, yes. All right, and it's a blessing that we have this calling, but we must endure so Lord willing to be what? Chosen of the elect, all right? So the prophets out here, what? Telling the Israelites, telling their people, was the Israelites consist today of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So he said, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. So they hear us, but they don't understand what we're talking about. They see us, but they can perceive. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their eyes heavy and shut their eyes as they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the heavenly father has an angel literally blocking them. Look at that in the book of Genesis. Right. Look at Genesis third chapter. It's literally an angel blocking them from the tree of life. The tree of life being Yahweh Shai, the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Understanding the importance of the only begotten Son and the Father. Yahweh Shai, he's that breath of life. He's the manna. He's the, the living waters. He's all these things, man. 
But Genesis 3, watch this. We're going to start at verse uh, 22. And the Lord God, Yahweh power, said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. So if you eat of the tree of life, you're going to live forever. So that's symbolically, because, you know, you got the book of Ezekiel, also in the book of Revelation, which is eat the roll. All right, the role of the scriptures. You don't literally eat the Bible. It means to fully digest it in your mind. Understand this. So that's the, the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came forth bringing everlasting life to those that believed on him. All right. So he said what? Eat, he said, literally said, eat my flesh, drink my blood. Okay. That's what the Lord Yahweh Shai said, but it represented spiritually. All right. Let's read on. So it says, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai power, sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to, to till the ground from which he was taken. Now watch this. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims, who's angelic beings, all right, angels. And a flaming sword was turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. So the Heavenly Father has an angel blocking those from the knowledge of the tree of life. So you get that in the book of Isaiah, like I just, like I just read, read it again. Isaiah 6. And uh, verse 10, make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes as they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Heavenly Father has select uh, uh, men, or I'll say this, the Heavenly Father has select few that's going to understand this and majority just will not understand this. All right. But the, when, when they when would, when would they be able to see? Verse uh, 11, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and houses without men and the land be utterly desolate. So basically when society collapsed, that's when they would be like, oh, this is what those men was talking about. You know, that's when the eyes were, uh, were, were seeing and their ears were, were here. Especially those, you know, when they see the spiritual power. Scripture what? Thy people shall be willing to hear thy power. All right. There's another scripture I'm thinking about. Um... Let me see Matthew 13, right? Watch this. Matthew 13 and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So they asked him, Why are you speaking to the people in parables? One, he was, he was fulfilling a prophecy in the book of Psalms, the 78th chapter. Let's read it. Psalm 78 and verse 1. All right. Give ear, O my people, to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. All right. So that's who fulfilled that. Allah Yahweh Shai. All right. So let's go back to Matthew. What I just had. Matthew. Was it 13? So Matthew 13 and verse uh, 10 from the top. And the disciples came and said to him, why speaks thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given so it wasn't given to them it was only given to a few understand this the chosen all right so when you understand this this is literally a heavenly gift like our lord yahweh Shah said in john 15 chapter i'm gonna get that right fast i'm gonna have to come back come back to this john 15 and verse uh sure it's point 16 you have not chosen me so we didn't choose yahweh Shah. All right, or the Father, but I have chosen you and ordained you. So it's been from the beginning, you've been ordained to understand and know this and actually uh, uh, apply it to your daily life and actually try your best to seek the Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, to obtain salvation in these last days. That you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. The fruit is the elect. All right. That, whoso, that whatsoever you shall ask of the, the, of the Father in my name, he may give it you. So we've been, just read a little more. It says, these things I command you that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. So you've been chosen out of this world. That's where we stand apart. We're wholly set apart. So back to Matthew 13 chapter, this, this knowledge is only given to a few. So Matthew 13 verse, uh, I'm, where am I? 12 now. For whosoever have to him shall be given and, and he shall have more abundance. Whosoever have not from him shall be taken even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not and hear and they hear not, neither do they understand. And and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. This is read Isaiah 6 chapter. Which say, By hearing you shall hear and shall, and shall not understand, and seeing shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart 
For this people's heart is wax gross, and their eyes are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. For Yahweh shall do the healing. So verse 16, but blessed are your eyes, for they see in your ears, for they hear. So this is a blessing. It's a gift. That's in the book of, I think, Ephesians 2 and 8. Let me get that next. Prevail say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them from in their lifetime, and to hear those things which I hear, which you hear, and have not heard them. Alright, so th this is heavy, bro. Alright? Let's get uh Ephesians 2 and 8. And it reads. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It wasn't of ourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh It's a gift of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So understanding this is a gift. Let's get Proverbs, the first chapter. All right. So that's why brothers, you know, are occupied in the meditation of prophecies and, and the wisdom of the ancient and, and dark sayings. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to get that again. So let me see what Proverbs. Uh, so Proverbs 1. Let me see. It's a scripture I'm thinking about. Lower like a find It's a classic one too. Uh let me see. Silakia. Where you at? Right here. Psalms one eleven verse ten. Watch this. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise and forever. So you have to be doing the things that the most I command you to do. Which of course, yes, it goes to the laws. But you're keeping the laws, rehearsing it through faith in your Shai. All right. So that's what give you what a good understanding. You start opening your mind up and make you what? Let's get Isaiah 11 chapter. Isaiah 11 and verse uh, 1. And there came forth. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of the root going to our Lord Yahweh Shai. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Most High. I shall make him of quick understanding. So that's our Lord Yahweh Shai. He sent forth the comforter, so he will not leave him comfortless. All right, so the spirit of wisdom rests upon our Lord Yahweh Shai, and what? It makes those that believe in him what? Have quick understanding. In the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge out of the side of his eyes, neither reprove out of the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove the, with equity for the meek of the earth, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his out of his mouth, with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So Allah Yahweh Shah came and fulfilled that. Alright. But that's why we have what quick understanding because of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Because he he loosed the seven stills there in the book of Revelations. Alright. So uh oh yeah. So now let's get Proverbs first chapter. All right. Proverbs 1 and verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple, right? And the young man knowledge and discretion. That's what we've been given. All right. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and the dark and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You have to fear the most high. You have to fear him. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So I was pointing what to get. Alright. That's another scripture I just thought about in the book of Sirach. There was the third chapter. Let me see. Uh Bill Yom. Let me Right here. Sirach, the third chapter in verse uh, 23, right? It says, let me see. Matter of fact, we'll start at verse 19. It says, many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. The scripture say what? The meek shall inherit the earth. The lowly, that's the elect. See that? So that's why everyone can't get this thing. For the power of the Lord is great and he is honored of the lowly. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. So that's why you don't start going to try to get too, too deep. Okay? Because you'll bug yourself out. It says, but what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. Whatever was commanded of us, which ultimately was needed for salvation, we think of thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. 
right? For more things are shoot unto thee than men understand. So more things are shown us than the average person understands, man. So this is a gift. It is a blessing. Let's stay in Sirach. And it's in the Apocrypha. 39, and we're going to read verse 1 again, but some more when we get in this. Sirach 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the Lord of Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and what subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through the strange countries, for he have tried the good and the evil among men. So I was going to want to get through the spirit. All right. So, matter of fact, verse 7. No, no, verse 6. Fact, let's read on down. Salaki, let's read on down. Verse 5. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. So that all of this is, is, is a part of it. You know, as in praying to the Most High, as forgiving for your sins, fearing the Most High, that's wisdom. All right. You, start, you, you go into the med, you're meditating upon the, the, the prophecies, the commandments and faith, you know. Verse six, when the, when the great, when the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge and his secrets shall he meditate. All right. He shall shoot forth that which he have learned and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. Okay, so that was the main point I wanted to get through the spirit. I, I have so many. It's like, as I keep reading on, like scrolling down, there's so much. Let's read verse 9. Many shall commend his understanding, and so long as the world endureth, it should not be blotted out. His memorial should be shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation, man. So, and this is what we're striving for to have the uh, everlasting name. All right, through our Lord Yahweh, being his joint heir. So, just meditating upon understanding these deep parables and dark sayings, and how it's a heavenly gift. All right, this is ultimately a gift by the Heavenly Father. I should say what? It was created with the faithful in the womb. All right, let me get that precept. All right, let's get that precept. Sirach 1 and verse 14. Uh, let's start at verse 13. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. The, to fear the Lord is a beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. So it was just, you know, it was a, it's a gift from on high. All right. So those that don't understand it right now, it's just not given. All right. That's why it's, you know, certain, uh, uh, like, you got to be in the know. Okay. And if it's for you, you, you study and the Lord will open your mind up and reveal these mysteries to you. All right. Understanding, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the book of the books of revelation, understanding the mark of the beast, understanding Jacob's trouble, understanding spiritual power, divine intervention, understanding the books of Genesis. All right. Those different dark, you know, parables and sayings and similar tools. All right, the Heavenly Father has to deal with you and open your mind up to fully understand these things. So that's we got to fear the Lord and all they that do his commandments have good understanding. You got to keep those commandments through faith in Yahweh Shah. You know, start rehearsing the righteous acts because scripture says, well, he that turned his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers and abomination. So you got you to what? You got to hear the laws and commandments and, and do your best to keep them through faith in Yahweh Shah and endure. And these things will be opened up to your mind. All right, so I was meditating upon that because I began a lot of different comments. People asking, what does this mean? How do you say this and whatever different things they understand Psalm the second chapter different thing I'm like man the Lord really blessed brothers man to understand these things Cause I remember when I was new coming in I, I, the way I went about learning it was just the Lord was opening our mind up you know we watching the videos we are you know we we search things up we there's nothing too you gotta you gotta seek uh, seek and you, you're gonna find you know let me see some scripture that's thought about uh bear me uh right here. Matthew 7 and 7, it says, uh, ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. All right, so you gotta do the, you gotta do the footwork, man. All right, don't, don't think you're gonna get spoon fed to get this knowledge. All right, so you gotta seek and you're gonna find, knock and the, the Lord will open it to you. All right, verse eight, for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. All right, so Lord willing, you edified through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem Shai. In closing, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Baba Baba, Shalom.